What's good guys, Travis with T-Customs Productions. I was going through some various samples today. I found this track and the intro really intrigued me. I wasn't sure if this was something that I would actually flip into a beat, but I listened to it a couple times and said, you know what, today I'll try something a little bit different. I'll just experiment with it. If it doesn't come to anything, that's fine. It's not gonna hurt me, just throw it into Ableton, chop it up, and see if I can actually come up with a beat. So I chopped it up, I had probably six or seven different sample chops, not a lot because I just used the intro. Just experiment with it a little bit. I did pitch it up, I believe like four or five half steps just to speed it up a little bit. So this sequence started sounding pretty cool to me. Um, I went ahead and loaded in some drum sounds and just started playing around with the kick and snare. So next for the hi-hats, I was looking for something that was a little more up-tempo that had obviously a nice groove swing to it. Um, I went through some various breaks, wasn't finding exactly what I was looking for, and I ended up going to a plugin that I use from time to time called Stylus RMX. Uh, you can get some various percussion loops and hi-hat loops and things like that. You can actually manipulate them even more in MIDI. So right now I've just got a separate track. I'm going back through the sample, uh, see if I can find some other little pieces, stabs. I'm applying a high pass filter obviously to the sample with a higher threshold. That way if I pick a vocal stab or pick something else, it's not really going to conflict with uh, the original main sample that I have. Basically I'm just scanning over the entire sample, triggering my, my controller and just seeing if anything sounds good, something I want to include in the beat. So I found a nice little piece of the sample that I wanted to add to the beat. I broke it up into three different sample slices. I kind of pushed it back so it's kind of subtle in the mix. I put some delay on the third last chop. You kind of hear it playing right here with the beat. So next I MIDI mapped each of the tracks mute buttons um, to the S buttons on the MPK 49. So that allows me now to mute certain tracks as I'm just kind of experimenting, kind of going into the arrangement prematurely right here, but just to kind of hear what it will sound like when I drop out the drums, drop out the hi-hats, you know, different things like that. So I just want to give you guys a sneak peek in a new track I'm working on. It hasn't been finalized and arranged and put on the site yet. But if you like this track, if you'd like to see it on the site, you know, please like, share, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.